New at 530, it's being called a crisis. Military recruiting is struggling. Yeah, last year, the Army missed its goal by more than 15,000 active duty soldiers or 25% of its target. Mike Gooding reports lawmakers want answers. What, uh, what, what jobs were you looking at? A bipartisan nonprofit policy research organization, the Center for Strategic International Studies, this month called the current military recruiting environment the worst recruiting crisis since the creation of the all-volunteer force nearly 50 years ago. Lawmakers are rightly concerned. Last year, the force fell tens of thousands of recruits short of its goals, and the same appears likely this year. This year, if trends continued, our armed forces are projected to achieve roughly 75 percent of their goals. Civilian leaders from the individual branches told the Senate Armed Services Committee on Wednesday that the reasons are many. The Army is in a fierce competition for talent with the private sector. Separately, we're recovering from school closings during the pandemic, which limited recruiters' access to students and faculty alike. The bottom line is that the Navy and Marine Corps are in a competition for talent like many other sectors of the American economy. As we compete with the lowest unemployment rate in a generation, the Air Force will likely fall short of enlisted active duty recruiting goals by over 10%. The Reserve and Guard are projected to miss their goals by even higher margins. A Defense Department report from fall 2021 showed that just 9% of 16 to 24 year olds surveyed said they were likely to be serving in the military in the next few years. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. The panel's vice chair, Mississippi Republican Roger Wicker, placed blame on what he called distractions. He cited recent DOD initiatives on extremism, diversity, equity, and inclusion as examples. Wicker argued that such issues dissuade young people from enlisting.